After digging around Britain for the last 20 years, I've got a tale or two to tell about sewers and drains. For instance, did you know that every man and woman in the UK spends an average of 22 minutes a day on the toilet or in the bathroom. A poll recently commissioned by Dynarod to celebrate their 50th anniversary says that the top pastime while you're there is coming up with a great new idea. Second is the more traditional activity of reading a magazine or a book like this magnificent publication. And when the good people of Britain were quizzed about their worst bathroom disaster, blocking the loo came top, and a close second was spiders in the bath. Unfortunately, Dynarod can't help you with your little eight-legged guests, but they have spent the last 50 years unblocking a whopping 25 million household drains. 2013 is a really important landmark for a company like Dynarod. It's Dynarod's 50th anniversary. In 1963, a guy called Jim Zockel set up Dynarod as being the first non-food franchise in Great Britain. And today, there are 47 Dynarod franchises, each with its own story to tell. I've been with the Dynarod franchisee since 2004. My stepfather, Roger Little, started in 1966. It was the first franchise that's set up, and it's been running since then. Can I think of anything? Not that I can say on the camera, really. <laughs> Well, this is the one where you peer through the window and what have you, you shouldn't have. Some meerkats stuck down a drain. But this woman <coughs> offered to pay in kindness, let's say. Customers losing £30,000 engagement rings. The customer that claimed to be the drummer for status quo. It's interesting. I think that's why people tend to stick to it for a long time. John Swift is the longest serving member of the team. He's been here 41 years. I mean, when I went, was, I think there were like six of us. Business was building and somebody invented the jetters and then we progress to those. Innovation is our DNA and we have a number of technical solutions and tools which throughout the 50 years have been unique at one point in time. Everything's changed. Technology, the way we do the work, coming away from single-use spot and machines down to jetting, camera surveys. I've got things like toilet machines and uh, sink machines. It's quite a strong family connection going back to the early 70s when my father had a, a download franchise. I often sit there and think I wonder what he'd think of it now uh, from the old days of the white vans now to the, uh, the day glow vans. We spent two or three years searching for this van. Family in a garage in Manchester ended up doing a deal and away it come and that was it. We started pulling it apart. In 1963 when we were established we had two employees. Now, terrific achievement. We employ about 5,000 people in the UK. Immense now, isn't it? I can't see a business in better shape for the next 50 years than Daniel.